Hello everybody, how's it going and welcome back to Universal Electric with myself Lewis, hope you're all good. And today we're going to be making some pretty cool things as always. Now in the last couple of episodes we've got this pretty nice setup here which allows us to smelt all our goods and kind of get a nice kind of production line on the go. I have noticed a tiny little flaw or a bug in which when certain times I log in these guys don't run yet they are actually still working. It's kind of weird. You can see I stand on them, they're not doing anything but I am currently smelting up some clay for what we're going to do today and that seems to be working so yeah bit of a weird one but just bear in mind all of the mods in this are pretty much still alpha and beta mods so they're not 100% finished just yet but I'm sure they will be eventually there's a few updates that are available and there's actually a new mod that's been added which I will be adding to this mod pack very soon that we can play with which you know is pretty cool so today I'm thinking we want to start building something that gives us some real energy now if we go outside we can see ooh, ooh, nice uh, yes if we go outside you can see that we have uh, this kind of basis here that I've made and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a blast proof chamber because a lot of the new energy types that we're gonna be using uh, especially some of the solar areas are gonna need a nice open area and you know I don't want enemies and mobs coming in and trying to blow up all my stuff so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a really nice blast proof chamber we're gonna do this by using the blast craft mod and this adds a very cool amount of blocks that allow you to be very blast resistant as it sounds from uh, certain things like missiles and whatnot from the ICBM mod and all that. So, you know, this is a, a very good addition. It's going to make it very easy for me to work in a outside area without having to worry about monsters and whatnot. We can even put a barbed wire. How cool is that? So the first thing we're really going to want to go ahead and do is make a blast compressor. And this is the first thing you should really do before you play with blast craft because it allows you to make some of the more expensive and more kind of blast protective blocks. So the first thing we need is another battery box to do this. And we're going to need a few things. So I've got a few batteries. We're going to need ourselves a few copper wires and we're going to need some steel plates. Nice. Let's grab some steel. Have got some steel plates? Yeah, I've got steel plates. We need some copper wires. Nice. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. So let's go and make one of these guys, shall we? So we need uh, steel plates like this. We need our wires on the sides. Pretty easy. And we need uh, a copper wire in the middle. And we need. What else do we need? Uh, we actually need batteries on the sides. Let's put batteries on the sides, shall we? Here we go some batteries very nice and we need copper wire like this power giving us a battery box nice and now we need to grab ourselves a few other bits so we need a basic circuit uh, we actually need two of these guys because we're going to make an advanced circuit and I've already got one so for this we need uh, we need some bronze plates which hopefully I haven't got but I can craft a few of these that's fine we're only gonna need one we can use the steel plates but I kind of like holding on to those guys because they're a little bit rare so it's that, we need a little bit of redstone. We'll take a stack, actually we take this one here, why not? And we need some copper wires, so let's go ahead and make this guy. So we should have enough to make it. So it's copper wires like this, your bronze plate in the middle just like that, and then you throw some redstone around it. Kapow, give us a basic circuit, nice. And to make the advanced circuit, we need redstone. We also need a diamond for this, so yeah, running out of the diamonds, not good. It means I'm gonna have to do some more mining soon. And for this recipe, you put a diamond in the middle with your basic circuits either side like that, and you throw a redstone like this. Kapow, give it us a advanced circuit. Nice. The next thing we're going to need is a furnace. Very simple. We're making up one of these. Pow. One furnace coming up. There we go. Nice. And we're going to need ourselves. If I can get some wood. And I need some iron. We're going to need a piston. Possibly a couple of pistons. Cool beans. So we're going to need ourselves two pistons, I believe. Sounds about right to me. Let's go ahead and craft ourselves some pistons. Nice. Oh, I'm doing it wrong again. This is the one recipe that I can never remember for some reason. The simplest of all recipes, and I always get it wrong. All right, let's make another one of these guys. Pow, there we go. Nice. So the blast compressor is a fairly simple one. All you need to do is put a furnace up here, a battery box down here. You need an advanced circuit in the middle like that. You need pistons on the sides and you need some steel plates to go around the corners. Uh, I'm going to need another steel plate, aren't I? So let's go grab another steel plate quickly. Here we go. One steel plate coming up. Nice. Cool. So steel plates, pistons, uh, furnace battery box advanced circuit blast compressor nice now blast compressors are wicked they allow us to do some pretty cool things I'm gonna go and pop this guy over here 
Uh, note that I've gone and shoved a circuit which runs up from here just so this way we know exactly what we're doing. And we're going to go ahead and pop this guy here just like this. You can see it's got the input on the back. Uh, if I go ahead and break this one, you can see this right there. Bam. And this guy requires 120 volts and requires 14 kilowatts of energy. So kind of expensive, but you can do some pretty cool things with it. So the next thing that we're going to have and need to do is make some bricks for this. And I'm going to need quite a few obsidian and whatnot to make this guy. So I'm going to go do a little bit of mining and we'll be right back and we'll get on with making some blast proof bricks. Okay, so I think I've got enough obsidian to demonstrate what I actually want to do. We are going to have to go and grab some more at some point, but you know, that's fine. So first things first, we need to make a load of these guys. So let's go ahead and do this and make a load of bricks. Nice. And by putting bricks like this, we can then go ahead and make ourselves some of these guys some hardened bricks. Now, you know, hardened bricks are cool, but they're not the uh, best kind of brick that we can use for this. We want to go and upgrade these guys. And to do this, we're going to need to go ahead, come outside here and use our uh, blast compressor to be able to make the most upgraded bricks, which are the most powerful bricks. And uh, we do this by literally throwing these guys in here. Bam, there we go. Now, these do take some time to get going. So in the meantime, really, it's worth going to do some other things before you kind of come back to this. And uh, I think what I'm going to do with some the rest of my obsidian is I'm going to do a little bit more mining to grab some more obsidian. And I'm also going to make my way to the nether because there's a few things in the nether that I want to grab before we uh, carry on working on some of the other bits. Because we're going to look a little bit into railcraft because railcraft really helps in the production of making some of these items. So I will be right back. Scratch that. There's actually one more thing that we need to do before we can actually get these guys made into these guys blast proof walling. My bad. Having a derping moment right here. We actually need to go ahead and use these hardened bricks like this. And we need to go and make a little bit more obsidian with these guys, giving us these guys raw blast proof walling. And, you know, this is a fairly expensive way of doing things. So I'm pretty much going to use up most of my obsidian doing this. But we've got 24, which isn't too bad. And uh, now we can go ahead and throw these guys in our uh, blast compressor. You know, that's... Uh, Wow, I can't believe I uh, forgot that. <laughs> My bad. There we go. Now these guys can go in here. And these guys should now compress and give us what I'm looking for. Bam, there we go. Blast proof walling. Once again, though, it's going to take its time. So I'm going to go ahead, grab some more obsidian, like I said, and uh, we're going to take a trip to the nether. All right, wish me good luck. Hopefully we're going to get a decent spawn this time. You know, the last couple of things, or the last couple of episodes we've done in series is we've had pro possibly the worst spawn ever. So I'm hoping for something good this time. You know, hopefully. <laughs> right. Well, not too bad, I guess. This is kind of alright. You know, we've got soul sand, which I wanted. I wanted a lot of soul sand, so... Yeah. <laughs> we do need some never brick. And, well, these are the main reasons I've come here. I want to make myself a... Uh, some, some of the uh, railcraft building tools. So I want to make a blast furnace. And to do this we need magma creams, we need a lot of stuff from the nether. And at the minute it looks like there's not much good stuff around. We're going to really have to find ourselves a nether fortress. And I have no idea where one of those guys are. So hopefully we're going to be able to find one fairly soon. I'm going to have a run around and uh, you know I'll be right back. It's going to be a little bit harder since we haven't got uh, the mini map installed. So I can't actually place any uh, waypoints down. So I'm just going to have to kind of remember where we are. So yeah, I'll be right back. Oh yeah, found ourselves another fortress. How cool is that? Took me absolutely ages to find this guy. I've even had to pave my way back with cobblestone blocks. Just not the coolest way. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> you right there, sir? Chilling in your thing. I don't want him to fall because I want his goods. Oh, oh hold on. I'm going to see what we had. I made myself a very nice little staircase here. Kind of know my way back. It's kind of uh, that way. Ow. What did this guy actually drop? Why can't I pick up your goods? Oh, lead. Nice. Are they a bit bugged? Uh, yeah, it's looking like they're a bit bugged. Alright, so let's get inside here and hopefully we can find some cool things. Uh, like I said, I want some magma creams. Uh, I can find some goos in the overworld, that's not really a problem. Um, but we do need to find... Um, I'd like some never warts while I'm here as well. And uh, like I said, we need never racks. So I can... Obviously there's tons of this here. Oh! Well, there's my first blaze. Let's uh, see how we can uh, get over to these guys and hopefully not get lost. I think I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a few torches around here so I know exactly where my kind of way down is. Oh, that's definitely not good. 
Okie doke, right, let's get inside, because this is uh, very, very quickly going to turn bad. Luckily, my obsidian armor, though, is extremely resilient and very good. Now, I'm really hoping, you know, this is going to be a really good nether kind of fortress. Sometimes you get real rubbish ones that aren't good. Oh, hey, come here, you. Don't fall off the edge. Don't fall off the edge. Where's he firing from? Oh, jeez. Killing the slimes. Oh yes, magma creams. Exactly what I'm looking for. Pow. Uh, I think one kind of fell somewhere. Well, he's gone somewhere. Yep, at least we've got one though, so it's a, it's a start. It's a start. Hopefully, you know, there like, could be spawners somewhere. That would be amazing, because then we, that way we can just like rape the spawner. Um, I don't really want to go too far off the beaten track though, in case I cannot make my way back. The only problem with never fortresses, you can get lost so easily, it's redonkulous. Uh, let's have a quick look around here, and if I can't find anything interesting, I'm going to do the uh, almighty cut of time and uh, go around hunting for a little bit. Hopefully I can find something pretty decent. Those blazes are definitely something on my agenda that I want to kill. And uh, that guy there is kind of stuck on a ledge, which is, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, how close was that? Oh, oh, I don't like that at all. Yeah, that's better. Let's uh, knock this wall down. Okay. Right, so uh, we had a blaze. Now over that side. Oh, he's in the worst place possible. Maybe if I kind of break this, he'll come down and say hi. Nope, he's disapparated. Ah, oh, we got a blaze spawner. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Loving it. Nice. So now I can just stay here and basically uh, attack the uh, the blazes. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So yeah, I'm going to cut here, guys. I'm going to do a bit of farming in the nether, and then we'll jump right back in, and hopefully we'll have all of our uh, blast bricks and everything made. Oh, another one. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've been mega, mega busy off camera, doing loads and loads of stuff, and you're going to see exactly what I mean in a minute once we start getting into this. Uh, you can see that I found most of the things here that I needed, so I'm currently making a load of brick inside the house at the minute we've got uh, tons of sandwiches in there we've got the never stuff we've got the bricks uh, i managed to get some more goose which are inside you know we got a lot and i found never warts which is quite nice so i'll plant some of those at some point as well and i did have to go and get tons of flint so you know making all this stuff is mega expensive but once you've made it it means that you're not gonna have to worry too much on power because this guy here for some reason does not output the um stuff by himself you have to use these guys to output it or i guess you could use the uh, rail carts to do all that as well but at the minute we haven't got that far we need to get a little bit more in depth with the rail craft before we can do that uh, i made a simple switch system here just so that we're not draining so much power but yeah we're uh, not looking too bad we've got loads of this stuff so i think the first thing to go ahead and do is start building this up and then that way we can actually like start actually getting somewhere because at the minute doing all this is taking a long long time so i'm going to go ahead and uh, do all of this and then we'll uh, come right back and then we're going to get fit a nice bit of uh, wiring on top so that way we don't get any creepy crawlies in the house. Alright so I've managed to do two levels of the stuff. Unfortunately we haven't got enough to make a third level. We're just a little bit shy. You can just about see it out there. And what we're going to do is we're going to make some wire fencing to go across the top so that way we don't get any like I say creepy crawlies in the house. And we're going to do it by making barbed wire which is this stuff. So it's iron and flint and this gives you five per the uh, recipe that you're actually making. So let's go ahead and make a few of these and hopefully we're going to be able to get enough so that we can actually uh, kind of do this alright. I'm going to have to share these guys out. Here we go. And the flint. Pow. So that gives us 40. Possibly a little bit more, maybe. Uh, we need some more iron, actually, don't we? Jeez. Bam, gives us 50. Let's just use a whole stack up, why not? Bam, that's 60. I think that's as many as we're going to get today. But that's fine. You know, that probably should be enough. Let's go double check. So this is what we've got so far. You know, this is pretty blast proof, which is quite nice. Now we're just going to get on top and uh, start wiring this guy up. Oh yeah, this looks cool. Let's try and not fall off the edge, actually. That would uh, not be very smart. Cool beans. I'm really liking this look. This looks insanely cool. And you know, I'm thinking we're just going to have enough of this stuff. Literally just. We might even be a little bit shy. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, that stuff hurts. That stuff really hurts. 
Okie doke, that wasn't the best move, but that's fine, you know, my armour took a battering, but except for that we're good. So let's get this side on the go, and, you know, this should just do it. Um, pow, nice, giving us sit five bits spare, wow, that was really close, but now we've got this really cool place that no people can get into. Uh, we do need to light up a little bit though, so I guess... Uh, Lighting is probably the next thing on the agenda. Then we're going to see if we can make a door. Hopefully I'm going to be able to fit a door here, which uh, should be quite uh, kind of helpful, you know, to keep all the creepy crawlies out. So let's grab a little bit of coal. I'm going to put a little bit back in here. And have we got some sticks? 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 No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, we'll make a bunch of sticks. There we go. Loving it. And uh, we'll make a load of these guys. Pow. 52. Nice. Let's go make a door. And you know, all intensive purposes, really, we should be making an iron door, so let's make an iron door. Bam. One iron door. Nice. And I'm running out of places to put things here. Let's uh, just throw these on the floor for the time being. Nice. Okay, right, you guys can go. Let's throw away some of our rubbish, so we don't need any of this at the time. Uh, we don't need you. Um... Okay, I'm probably going to need the rest of this, to be honest. This stuff can go in here. Uh, I've got all that I need to smell as well. Okay. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and make a couple of things. So I want to make a couple of these guys. Let's smell a little bit more cobble. Oh, what are you doing there? Tell me what to do. I already know what to do. Well, just. <laughs> Here we go. Let's make another one of these guys, so that way we can actually get in and out, which is uh, always nice. There we go. And one more, just coming up. And then we should be in good form. I want to know if I can put the barbed wire across the door. I'm not too sure if I can do that or not. Hopefully I can. So let's go and find out, shall we? Oh, it is getting dark out here as well, so this should be a good test. Oh, hello, zombie. Okay, right. Door coming up. Bam. this guy here and let's go and torch this area off because I've got a feeling there's going to be lots of zombies coming in here come and say hello we don't really want to say hello today well not today I guess so here we go bam and we'll throw another one kind of around in the middle I guess don't worry I will kind of space these out once I'm properly done in here so right there's this so you know we're looking kind of alright. Put another few on the back here. Let's see if we can fit some of this wiring across the top. Pow. Yeah, we can. Nice. Cool. So we now we have a really cool base that we can do all of our cool stuff in, and we can actually start building everything. Uh, next up on the agenda, I think, is to make some of the uh, useful objects that we're going to do in here. And really, I'm going to want to bring a crafting table in it. So let's go and get a few bits, and then we'll kind of crack on with this. All right, so the first thing we want to go making today is going to be a coke oven. This is going to be a part of Railcraft. This is going to really help us in producing some steel and kind of automating things a lot nicer. And to do this, we're going to need loads of sand, and we need loads of bricks. And hopefully, I've got just enough sand on me. You're looking around about 130 pieces of sand to be able to do this guy and the recipe looks a little bit like this. So let's go ahead and see how many of these guys we can get and hopefully it's going to be just enough. So here we go. Now we'll throw our bricks in. Pow. Let's give us 16 and let's throw a few more of these in here. Pow pow pow. Let me just make a load of these guys. You know you can never have enough of these. Bam. 22. Well, there's 25. That let's find out if that's done it. If not, I can always go grab a little bit more sand. So these guys are really easy to put together. So we'll have it here. Oh yeah, missing one block. Bad, bad times. Oh, we got a little bit more sand on us there. That would probably be why. Let's go grab a little bit more. Pow. This should do the trick. And we should have a hollow area inside. Yeah, we have. Cool. So, let's have a look at the recipe one more time. So, it sound like this. Pow. And it was... You guys. 
This should go ahead and do it for us. There we go. Nice. One coke oven. Coke ovens are great. What you can do with these guys is you can go put coal in there and the coal will be turned to coal coke and you'll also get a byproduct which is called creosote oil. And this guy, uh, the creosote oil is basically used to make your tracks or your rail beds. So let's go grab a bit of coke, uh, this stuff and hopefully we can start actually producing a nice amount of steel and using railcraft to automate a little bit better because the one thing that I found with the um, uh, the system that we have here is it kind of works but it's very very expensive when it comes to power consumption so we're just going to throw these guys in here and uh, you know very very slowly going to do their thing but they take a very long time so you just have to kind of bear with them eventually you'll get stuff out of it but like i say it takes a long time to do what it needs to do so i'm just going to leave that doing its thing nice you can see that this all lit up uh, bear in mind now that if you do knock it down there is like lava in there though so be a little bit careful with that so the next thing i want to do now is i want to change all of these guys up Bam, giving us 14 of these, and I'm going to go ahead and just throw them in here, kapow, and uh, we're going to give ourselves tons of magma creams, oh yeah. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make ourselves a uh, another type of uh, oven that we're going to make, and uh, what do we need? We need our nether bricks, we need our soul sand, and uh, we also need our magma creams, which is going to be quite nice, and we're going to make a way of making steel, which is going to be pretty cool, so we're going to make a blast furnace. And uh, this guy looks a little bit like this. So uh, once again, another expensive one, meaning you need nine magma creams. So let's throw these guys in here like this. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and make this guy and hopefully it's gonna work fairly well. So there's that. And uh, now we need to put our sand in there. And you know, I got tons of sand. Pow, it's 36. And that should be enough. Bam, so this guy we're gonna make uh, probably over here, I think. And uh, he's a little bit harder to make, just because he's a little bit taller. And we need two open areas inside. Oh. There we go, nice. One blast furnace, love it. I really like the blast furnace. This guy is very cool. Now, he only works in a few ways. Uh, you can power him by using the coal coke, or you can power him by using charcoal. He will not he, no, he will not work with regular coal. So yeah, you just bear that one in mind. But what you do is you basically throw your charcoal or your coal coke in it. Just bear in mind coal coke is kind of like a, it's something like quadruple the uh, amount when it comes to actually making the steel depending on the amount of uh, kind of like uses you get out of it which is quite nice and what this guy's going to do is basically turn iron into steel and from this we now have a very easy way of making all of our steel instead of going through the whole route of using the uh, iron and the redstone here we go so we don't have to keep making enriched iron which is extremely expensive because you need uh, enriched alloys so you need iron for this and you need redstone uh, you need two of those guys and three bits so that's automatically three bits of iron to make that guy and uh, you know you get six out of it which is cool but for that we could just go ahead and throw a bit of iron in there and make uh, steel that way and uh, we also don't have to power it which is quite nice because it's not going to use our uh, J's or anything like that our kilojoules and our megajoules which is uh, definitely a bonus <laughs> alright guys so I think that is that for this episode it's been a slightly longer episode and I'm going to double check on my water oh yeah looking quite nice and uh Wow, I'm really impressed with how far we've got now. We've got a really nice kind of base that we can start doing all our stuff in. Uh, hopefully we're going to be able to start producing a oh, nice bit of cold coke. Love it. Put this guy in here. Bam. There we go. You can start doing your thing. <laughs> yeah, we've got a really nice production line going on here. And in the next couple of episodes, we can start looking at another way of producing more uh, power. Because at the minute, these guys are great, but they are using a lot of power. I'm just going to turn this guy off. And uh, yeah, so we'll start looking probably into solar, I think. Oh, what a fail. <laughs> And uh, once we start moving from solar, we can then start looking at some serious ways of making power. We'll probably start looking at some uh, fusion and fission reactors. And uh, oh yeah, gonna be insane. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll see you later. Have a good one and goodbye. Yeah.